The future of the Mattoon Fire Department's ambulance service is in limbo. And that's our top story tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Abby Taylor. And I'm Charlie Cottle. The Mattoon Fire Department is possibly parting ways with its ambulance service. Despite the department's wishes, the City Council is not budging on the issue. The Mattoon City Council passed a resolution last July to eliminate the fire department's ambulance service. This did not sit well with the department and this encouraged them to file a grievance, saying the city broke their contract without notice of bargaining with the fire union. City Administrator Kyle Gill says the private arbitrator sided with the city. The arbitrator did award in the city's favor saying that Substitute Act does not uh, pertain to the ambulance service and that we were not in violation of the contract by uh, passing that resolution. Gill says the fire department's contract expires at the end of the month and they're in the negotiation process to decide what's next. He says the department has the option to appeal the resolution. Right now, we're not sure what the fire department plans on doing. We would we'd argue it in front of the courts. I mean, as, if they appeal it, we'll go in to the courts and we would argue our same case that we feel that we do have the right to eliminate the ambulance service. And Union Fire Department President Bart Owen says eliminating the service is the last thing they want to do. We have plenty of community support, but the city council doesn't always listen to the community. So I think it's a very touchy uh, situation, really. I mean, I think there's support for both sides out there. <laughs> Gill says the service brings in $700,000 a year in revenue, but that cancels out the extra expenses, including fuel, medical supplies, and equipment updates. He says all departments are being cut to make up for the city budget deficit, and it makes more sense to cut the ambulance service. We just feel that this is a service that is being duplicated. We have uh, two private entities in town that are running the ambulance service. So that makes it an easier one for us to cut that we know our citizens will still um, be provided those services. Gill says contract negotiations with the fire department are ongoing. He says other departments like public works and tourism are also facing cutbacks.